Today we're taking a look at a Holga camera that I've been trying to get my hands on for years. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and welcome to Holga Week. Holga Week is every year. It's the first week of October and it's a time to celebrate all things Holga. And if you head over to holgaweek.com, you can actually enter a contest where you take a picture with the Holga during Holga Week, submit it to the contest, and you might win a prize. And this year, Photo Deox is actually contributing a prize to a contest. So if you enter the contest, you just might win a Photo Deox Prismo Stick RGB LED tube light. Now, the way we celebrate Holga Week here at Photo Deox is we take a look at some Holga cameras. And today we're taking a look at a very special Holga camera that I've been trying to get my hands on for years. This is the Holga 120 panoramic film camera. This camera takes insanely huge medium format panoramic images. For reference, a 12 exposure medium format roll of film only gets six exposures with this camera. So it is quite a beast. Now I've wanted this for years, but unfortunately there was a period of time where they just weren't manufacturing it. It was available uh, but last year they started making it again and I ordered it and I have been enjoying it like I said this shoots medium format 120 film uh, you can use either color or black and white it's got your typical Holga 90 millimeter lens on the front I believe it's an f13 aperture and because the image circle of this lens is so big and then you've got a huge film gate you can actually shoot almost 180 degree panoramic shots now this still is a plastic Holga camera, so it's not gonna give you the panoramic results you would get with a high-end panoramic film camera. But if you wanna dip your toe into panoramic film photography and you don't mind a little bit of softness in your image, this is a great place to start. Like I said, we've got your typical Holga lens on the front. Uh, it's basically the same as the lens that you have on a 120 Holga camera. You have one person, a couple people, a larger group of people and a mountain. And uh, those might look familiar because I am wearing a Holga shirt with the same symbols on them. I got this from redbubble.com. But back to the camera, we also have two shutter speed settings. We've got sunny or cloudy. And then we also have normal shutter speed where that's just gonna fire your normal shutter or bulb where you can shoot a long exposure shot. And your shutter button is right here. You just push this to fire the shutter. We also have this cool wide angle viewfinder that gives you your composition. We've got two hot shoes. I'm not really sure what those are for. I'm assuming you would put a flash on one and I don't know what you'd put on the other, maybe another viewfinder. And with panoramic photography, level is really important because it's such a wide image. So we also have a handy little bubble level so you can make sure your shot is level when you're putting it on a tripod. Let's open it up and take a look in the back. Like I said, crazy large film gate here. This is a six by 12 centimeter film mask. Uh, you can remove it if you want and you will expose farther out onto the edges of your medium format film. Uh, but you will get some scratches here because this plastic is a little sharp. Um, so I don't necessarily recommend it. Some lo-fi photographers like shooting gateless, so it's definitely worth trying, but you will get a much cleaner image with this mask. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you can use the 35 millimeter film mask. Uh, basically this snaps in the back of the camera. It's got a little bracket right here to hold your 35 millimeter roll of film. And then you just slot it through here. It will expose the sprockets of the 35 millimeter film, uh, but you can always crop those out in post if you want. And yeah, this is gonna give you a super, super wide image. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure I will. It looks kind of fun. One note though, if you do decide to use 35 millimeter film, definitely put black tape over over the film window here, uh, otherwise light will get in and it will completely destroy your 35 millimeter film, uh, making it pretty useless. I've only owned this camera for a short time, but I've really enjoyed using it. I've shot two rolls of film so far, color and black and white, and I love the results. It's an interesting combination of hi-fi, medium format film, and a lower fi lens with a stunning wide angle aspect. One thing to keep in mind when you're done with your film, make sure to completely roll it up and remove it from the camera right away. I left my roll loose in the camera and I got a fat roll, which means I got some light leaks on my images and I lost a couple. Okay, that's a quick look at the Holga 120 Pan, a beautifully lo-fi plastic medium format panoramic film camera. Today's video is brought to you by photodeox.com. We are a photo and video gear and accessories company. If you are a filmmaker or a photographer, odds are we've got some gear for you. So click the link in the description below to learn more. Also click the link in the description below to learn more about holgaweek.com and maybe enter the contest for yourself. Plus, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have fun shooting with the Holga 120 Pan.